well, for sure, it's turning fear into confidence. Uh, working in secondary schools at the moment can be quite fearful for an out gay person. To see Sean speaking and bringing out this book has actually empowered me to go back to my school and say, it's not me that's wrong, it's you. These children need representation and I feel like I can lead on that. The impact of Sean's book in the school is helping to create a more inclusive environment, not just for LGBT people, but for everyone who might come from a minority. I think at the moment it's really important that we have discussions like this in schools. It's because yes, we have uh, same-sex marriage, and yes, although we've made lots of steps in progress uh, within the LGBT plus community, I think people, especially teachers who aren't LGBT plus, can become complacent and I think it's important that we are having these conversations still and that we're pushing forward and making sure that schools are a safe environment for all students, uh, including LGBT+. Um, so I first met Sean a few years ago at a PSHE conference in Liverpool and I really think his words have resonated with me and inspired me ever since as a teacher. Um, I think as teachers and educators we really do have a responsibility to make sure every child that comes into our care feels valued, cared for and loved and represented and so I think that this book will really be a great tool to be able to let us educators do so. Uh, I found it really inspirational, um, it's very powerful um, and a great motivational tool to kind of inspire me to go back to my school and to kind of help implement change to LGBT plus students that might be in the school. I was really impressed in the way he talked about battling prejudice and the way to battle prejudice is to take it uh, head on and that means by having a difficult conversation with young people. I think if we can do that then we can promote more inclusivity with the LGBT movement in schools.